Sharon is such a special woman. I mean, full of life, full of vivacity, whip smart, so successful, built a career and a life for herself and for her family from nothing. And yet, I can tell you that she had this soft, serene, spiritual soul that was irreplaceable. She had the most beautiful smile and uh, she was radiant. The fact that my mom is um, being honored makes me really proud because in her lifetime she didn't do things to be noticed. Even though she was a larger than life personality, she didn't do things to be noticed. She was a very, very involved person. It, it just wasn't surface. She had a tremendous amount of depth. Sharon would have wanted everything to be a celebration of life. One thing I appreciate about the Chabad is that you don't just watch what's going on, that you're an active participant in the shul. So she was an active participant in my daughter's bar mitzvah, and an active participant in my son's bar mitzvah, and that was, you know, very meaningful to me. My baby is going to be honored tonight because she is a wonderful person. I'm sure she, she had, her, her soul attained uh, a spiritual happiness that, that we all would like to think that we're going there too. She really liked helping people. That was like her top priority. There really is a void in people's lives now with Sharon Bobkin not around. Everything about her was fun. Every party that she had, not one person would not go and say that was the best party I ever went to. You couldn't keep up with her because every single time you did, she always pulled one over you that was even better. She was always ahead of her time when it came to getting together with parties, with the way she acted, with her personality, with her business model, would always change. You couldn't, you couldn't keep up with her. She was the light of the party. She was the center of attention. She was the type of person when she walked in the room, people would notice her and she would, she would, in a way, she would draw the energy of the room towards her. Not that she tried to or she intended to. For some reason, that's just what happened and I, I have to admit it, that's true. She was so well known and everybody knew her, so I'm happy that she'll get this chance to be remembered with all these people. She's very inspiring in a way to always have a happy, like, outgoing outlook on life, and it just makes me proud that she was my bubby. I'm very proud of her because she's awesome. I think that I know they honored my mom when she was alive a couple of years ago, and because she was so involved with Chabad, and now they're honoring her in her passing, and I. I'm just proud of my mom um, and everything she does because I just think there's so many facets of her life that we could look at as a grandmother, as a mother, as a friend, as a real estate agent, and then also as a Jew. So I'm happy that we were just able to honor one part of her life. She seemed to be at the center of everything always. Everything sort of evolved around um, Sharon. Everybody knew who she was. Everybody knew what she did. Everybody respected who she was, respected what she did. Um, uh, she was a big part of the community. And we made her proud, we know that, because she was very involved and always shared her um, advice and feelings with us and we were blessed to have known her and we thank her family for joining with us and remembering her legacy, her living legacy. The fact that, that Chabad is honoring my wife is, is uh, it's a mitzvah. It's a blessing, and it's well-deserved.